weather nerd now. You should have seen me when I was a kid. Uh, I was a big weather nerd. Um, I enjoyed talking about the weather, forecasting the weather at such a young age. Started when I was in the second grade. I, I can remember a teacher telling us, hey, look out the window. It's snowing and the sun is out at the same time. I grew up in a little town in Iowa. So we all jump up from our desks and run to the window and we're all like, oh, wow, that's cool. Why is that happening? And that seems to be what clicked the curiosity in me. And from there on out, it was all the weather all the time, literally. I mean, it was amazing. My parents took me to see the TV meteorologist at the, my hometown or near my hometown. So that was great. He became my mentor. I decided on my universities in like eighth grade, I was accepted to Oklahoma University by 10th grade. That's where I went to college for meteorology. It was very straight and narrow for me. It was, it was very certain as to what my goal was going to be. On the radio station for News 104.5 WOKV, Rich Jones, the news director there, always enjoys my line when I do the weather discussion for them, which is every day, and it's all the weather all the time, and that's the way my life is. It's literally eat, sleep, drink, talk weather. My family probably gets tired of it. I don't seem to ever really tire of the weather, uh, but the one beautiful thing about the weather, and I say it to the students when I visit them in schools too, is the weather doesn't cost us anything. It's just there, it's just occurring. So what a great gift, what a great easy hobby and non-expensive hobby, it's cheap, just to look out the window and observe and enjoy the weather. So that's the one thing I'm constantly doing is watching and observing the weather. It's all the weather, all the time, and I love it.